Protecting vulnerable patients in the ICU can be challenging, especially since typically, ventilators do not provide alerts of ineffective triggering, so you may not even recognize the problem. Even when ventilators do provide an alert of ineffective triggering, it may be difficult to treat with traditional approaches. Now there's a solution, iSync software for the Puritan Bennett 980 ventilator. iSync software provides a novel means of triggering and cycling spontaneous pressure support and volume support breaths. It detects and responds to the onset and end of a patient's spontaneous inspiratory effort and may enhance patient ventilator synchrony compared to conventional flow triggering and cycling. When a patient has airway resistance, it can cause air trapping, late cycling of fresh support and volume support breaths, which can result in a missed or delayed trigger. IASYNC software can cycle off when the patient stops inhaling, even if there is airway resistance, and trigger in conditions where flow or pressure triggering may not be able to. IASYNC software may help to solve both triggering and cycling asynchrony issues in patients with airflow limitations. To help illustrate how iSync works, I'll be using the Michigan TTL lung. Let me explain the equipment we will use for our demonstration. This first ventilator is set at 28 breaths per minute that you can see at the top of the ventilator. It's basically representing the diaphragm, and so think about 28 breaths being attempted by the patient. On the right side, we see the test lung that represents the COPD patient. I put in a small endotracheal tube to create airflow limitation conditions. As you look closer, you can see only one of two breaths are being actually triggered. There's a little clip between these two lungs and it's trying to trigger more breaths than what's actually being triggered. And as we look at this other ventilator, we can see that only 14 breaths out of the 28 are actually being triggered. We can see that the spontaneous inspiratory time is longer than what it should be and that the mil per kg is higher than what it should be. As we look at the waveforms, we can see once again that one breath is being triggered, and one breath is being missed, one breath is being triggered, and one breath is being missed. Now let's turn on the iSync software and see what happens. I'll go into the vent setup button. I'll turn on iSync. I'll press accept. The spontaneous inspiratory time has now come down to a more physiologic level, and so has the mil per kg and we can slowly see that the total respiratory rate is now climbing and it'll eventually get up to 28 breaths per minute. So now we're seeing that every effort by the first machine is being responded to with the new iSync software. Now that we have turned on iSync trigger and cycling, let's talk about a couple of the adjustments that you can make. First, I'm gonna to touch the iSync. And if I want triggering to happen earlier, I will go to the left. And if I want triggering to happen later, I will go to the right. Now let's look at the cycling. If I want the cycling to happen sooner, I'll go to the left. If I want it to happen later, I'll go to the right. The Puritan Bennett 980 ventilator, iSync software, uses mathematical models to estimate when the beginning and ending of patient effort occurs. This novel trigger and cycling function may help you overcome the challenge of ineffective triggering and delayed cycling and may help provide your ventilator patients with optimal support.